The Palomino rabbit is a large and meaty type. Commercially, its value as meat is high, but bone structures are smaller. They need some time to be mature. A Palomino in its pre-junior stage does not exceed 5 pounds, and the juniors weigh not exceeding 8.5 pounds but 4 pounds is its minimum weight. The junior bucks weigh from 4 to 8 pounds, while the intermediate does not go over 9.5 pounds, their intermediate bucks are at 9 pounds. The adult female weighs between 9 to 11, but the ideal is 10. Senior bucks are lighter from 8 to 10 pounds, but ideally, it is 9 pounds. Their body type is of medium length having well-rounded hindquarters, while the shoulders are well-developed and broad. The eyes are brown, and the ears are uptight and large. Their top line goes upward starting from the neck, goes up the loin hip, and goes down to the tail. The coat is full and coarse, while the fur is flying back. It is advised to do weekly brushing. In spring, increase the brushing during the molting period. They are golden colored, having the varieties of lynx and golden. Genetically, their golden color is a shade of bright gold having cream to an undercolor of white. The lynx is a diluted version of gold and is called cream by most breeders. It is then an outer color of medium pearl gray having complements of orange beige and cream plus a white undercolor. Lifespan Averagely, Palomino rabbits live for 5 to 8 years, but they can live for 10 years in captivity. Behavior Palominos love being out of their cage. They do well with the children, given that they are carefully handled. For them staying inside their enclosure for a long time is depressing and boring, especially if they are alone. In terms of maintenance, their need is relatively low so long as you make them happy, healthy, happy, and safe. Seniors and couples may find this pet good for these rabbits are sociable. Compared to other animals, training them is harder, but it is still possible with the owner's perseverance, time, treats, and patience. Make sure there are bunny toys for them. Some of them tend to be picky of their toys while others are just contented with pieces of wood or cardboard. You should figure out what type of toys your bunny wants. Palominos are sweet, gentle, cute, calm, and friendly. They are smart potty users when trained well. In addition, they raise their offspring and have good health. When talking, they do grooming themselves and other bunnies. They are active in the evening and in the morning and do their feeding in the evening mostly. They sleep averagely for 8 hours. These rabbits have excellent hearing, smell, and vision. Having big eyes on their head side gives them a vision of almost 360 degrees, making them see predators or threats from any direction. They are able to see everything either in front or behind them. In front of their nose is a little blind spot. They are tough, have excellent production traits, and grow fast. They are ideal for meat production. They are also used for a rabbit show. They are mostly known for their big shoulders and big ears. It is best not to hold them for a long time. Keeping them stay or play on the ground is much better. This breed is not a pure one, instead, they are combinations of several breeds intended for petting and commercial purposes. They are good pets for families, the elderly, singles, and novices. The children should be guided by adults regarding how to raise and handle rabbits for rabbits can scratch and bite. Rabbits should not be left outdoors with no shelter and housing that would protect them from predators. Their conservation status is not listed by the American Livestock Conservancy. They are recognized by the ALC. They are accepted in lynx or golden. Diet and feeding. These Palomino rabbits are herbivorous. Their diet is 70% hay, but they also eat fruits, pellets, leafy greens, and vegetables. The hay would be Timothy grass hay. It is rich in fiber known for preventing obesity, hairballs, and diarrhea. Although leafy vegetables are good, they should not be given often for digestive problems to be avoided. Treats should not contain much starch or sugar, but you can give carrots, papaya, apples, strawberries, and others. To supplement their diet, high-fiber pellets should be offered. Be sure to always put clean and fresh water either on a water bowl or a sipper bottle. Care Requirements Palomino rabbits don't want to be in their enclosure for a long time. They want more time outside to interact and explore. They do well in outdoor or even indoor enclosures for their coats are coarse and dense, enabling them to deal with cold temperatures, even snow. However, outdoor enclosures should still be covered on the three sides to protect them, while indoor enclosures can be made for wires for a solid bottom for safe beddings. The bedding should be cleaned every day and changed every week. Breeding Medium to large-sized rabbits are mature sexually at their 4 to 4.5 months, the bigger ones are from 6 to 9 months. Eggs are released after sexual intercourse. They are receptive to breeding in about 14 in every 16 days. The females are receptive when their vaginas are moist and red. 
In other words, they are not receptive when there is a whitish and pink color in the vagina and a little or almost zero moisture. To detect pregnancy, feel the female's embryo. Do this 12 days after mating. Take note there are false pregnancies. This is common among rabbits. If your pet is pregnant, it will be about more than a month. Mother bunnies who have a small litter do have longer pregnancies. If a mother bunny fails to give birth after 32 days, the vet must induce labor, or else dead litters can happen. Pregnant bunnies resorb or abort their fetuses occasionally as caused by diseases or nutritional deficiencies. After almost a month after they bred, put a nest box. Don't put it too soon as the bunnies will just defecate on it. Before the female gives birth, she pulls her fur and makes a nest in the nest box. Then, baby bunnies are born deaf, blind, and naked. After a month, their hair shows, and ears and eyes will be opened on day 10. They are not able to regulate their body temperature. After giving birth, the mother bunny can do breeding again. A medium to large female rabbit has 8 to 10 nipples and gives birth to 12 or more. If a mother bunny cannot nurse all the babies, the babies can be fostered. Take them from their nest box for the first three days and let the other do with smaller litter do the fostering. This increases the chance of survival. Mother bunnies nurse once or twice every day for three minutes. The kits are weaned at four to five weeks. They can be hand reared, however, they could die. They must then be dry, quiet, and warm. For their formula, mix a half cup of evaporated milk, half a cup of water, egg yolk, and a tablespoon of corn syrup. You can give it half a teaspoon, two tablespoons. That would depend on their age. They can start eating green on days 15 to 18. Owners should keep an eye on the dew because they tend to eat their young due to nervousness, extreme coldness, and neglect to nurse. Dogs or other predators make the doe nervous leading to killing or eating of the young. If this action happens repeatedly, this doe must not be used to breed. Breeding Characteristics Palomino does is very good mothers having a decent litter size. They possess good maternal instincts, but some can be moody during breeding. Kids can start eating alpha pellets and drink water after their eyes are open 7 to 14 days after they are born. Even when they start eating, they cannot be weaned yet. It will be up to the doe. Kids should not be taken from their mothers for two months. This is important for their growth, health, and development. Mom's milk is needed by the kids. Common rabbit diseases. Rabbits are prone to some diseases. It can be prevented if owners understand and know how to manage their pets. Owners should be observant in terms of their pet's health. The more common ones are snuffles, uterine tumors, overgrown teeth, hemorrhagic disease virus, and myxomatosis. Overgrown teeth. Rabbits' teeth grow continually all through their life. If they fail to grind teeth constantly by not eating fiber, then molar teeth come out with spike damaging their tongues and cheeks. This would stop them from eating. With that, they can die. To prevent this, give a diet high in fiber like grass hay or oaten. Then, offer leafy greens and pellets. To treat, burring the teeth, making it flat would fix the overgrown teeth. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.